everyone welcome to my perfume channel Lisa loves perfume today I'm going to talk about Chanel Paris Venise which is one of the Leo collection so there's six in the Chanel Leo collection and they're named for Gabrielle Chanel's favorite destinations so it includes Paris Venice Venice Edinburgh Biarritz Paris itself so there's one called Paris Paris on the Chanel website there are six of this lay oh here's the bottle so they're all in this tall slightly curved the curved ends black top and in the top there is the two C's for Chanel so this is one of my warm weather perfumes so for when it's predicted to be 30 degrees celsius or more here in brisbane australia i picked this up from the chanel beauty boutique in brisbane it was one of my birthday presents to myself a few years back as you can see from the dent it's not a very big dent for a perfume that i've had for a few years So I'm actually wearing this today because it's been estimated to be 30 degrees and more today and I do like the light concentration of this for the warmer weather. I do prefer colognes for the warmer weather. And this is the box it came in. So quite a simple box. I, I can safely say that they probably didn't spend that much money on the packaging it is very chanel i guess and that is quite minimalist um, but the paper itself yeah so this one is a 125 ml bottle and i paid about 200 dollars at that time so let's give this a spray i'll spray it on myself because i am wearing it today so there's no clashing of perfumes So there's this immediate freshness, which is probably why I chose it when I was in the store out of all the perfumes that they had. It's zesty. And kind of musky. I don't at this point smell any florals. And that's kind of more what I go for for warmer weather perfumes. I tend to go for citrus, more zesty, fresh scents. It sort of suits the warmer weather where I don't want to wear anything that's too, too rich or too cloying. So apparently these Leo are unisex. And I believe when I was in the store, the lady who was serving me sort of said these are kind, some of them are leaning more feminine and some of them are leaning more masculine. So there are some notes which are more predominantly used in masculine perfumes and in feminine perfumes. So I, this one I think is more on the feminine. On the website, Paris Venice is a sensual luminous fragrance featuring soft neroli and iris contrasted by an ambre vanilla and tonka accord a vivid evocation of the enchanting baroque city of venice so i've never been to venice so i can't say that this smells like venice the only place i've been to in italy is rome and i'm not sure that i will ever go to venice um, i think it's over touristed if that's the word but if you have been to venice and you have a perfume that reminds you of that city please let me know in the comments below so this isn't my favorite fragrance because there's a note in here that makes me feel sad. Um, not sure, is it the tonka or the amber? But it's kind of why when I look at the warmer weather perfumes i'm kind of like oh that's not my favorite that's not one that i will pick up right away so it is a shame because it's quite a large bottle <laughs> it's 125 ml when my preferred size is 50 ml yeah so i 
see now it's I can still smell the citrus but it's sort of there's a warmer accord coming through almost spicy I don't hate it and I think it's because it's a light concentration so I can wear it and I don't feel overwhelmed by it it's kind of at that strength where I can spray it on and enjoy it for a little bit even though I, it's not my favorite enjoy it for a little bit and then it sort of dissipates towards the day I love the idea of the Leo range I love the idea that you know it's for travel and I guess in Europe maybe people travel a lot in the summer and maybe that was what Gabrielle was doing and I kind of love that sh they have a Leo for destinations so I could maybe if I was going to Edinburgh I might pick up the Paris Edinburgh just for the fun of it so I think it's a very clever idea and I'm looking forward to trying more of that range and maybe I'll find something I love a lot more let me know in the comments what you think if you have tried any of the Leo range particularly if you have tried the Paris Venice I'm interested to see what you think of it and whether you love it or you're a bit like me a little more uh, I could probably do without it Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!